Welcome back to my channel. Hope you had a good ride. Have you ever wanted to personalize your bike and stand out from your friends, but you've spent all your money on that new bike? You spend countless hours cleaning it, admiring it, pampering it, and staring at it and asking yourself, I'm broke, but what else can I do to up my bling game? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can give your cassette cable end caps, chain connector, and maybe even your chain that anodized look. After all, you just cleaned your bike again after your last ride, right? Well, might as well give your friends something to look at while they're sucking your wheel, all for the cost of a few dollars, unless you already have some in your junk drawer. Big disclaimer, this is a totally aesthetic hack. It's all for looks. You might even say it's useless, but it's all for fun. It is temporary and it will wear off eventually. And if you use wet lubes, you'll soil that cassette immediately, unless you wax your chain like I do. Now, to get that anodized look, you'll need Sharpie permanent markers with a chisel tip. Sharpie also makes permanent markers with metallic inks and even oil-based paint markers. You can find them in the art supply section of your favorite Walmart or craft store. Before you start coloring, your parts must be clean and grease-free. Now, the big cog is a good choice since you can use a different color on each side. However, it is your cassette and you can color whatever cog you desire. To get a more darker and saturated look on the cog, just apply the color multiple times. Just let the ink dry between applications. You can also use markers on the cable end caps. Use a contrasting color instead of a matching color to make the caps stand out. Now, although anodized end caps are available online, remember, you're broke and you don't have any money, right? You can even color your chain connector. Since I wax my chain every 185 miles, having a colored chain connector makes it easier to find it on the chain when it's time to remove it for waxing. And if you're aspiring to be the next Mark Cavendish, you can even color your chain's outer plates to match your green jersey. By the way, if you wax your chain or use wet lubes, color the outer plates first, then wax or apply the lube. Now this won't affect the friction reducing properties of the wax or the wet lube since they work on the inner plates and roller bushings. Most importantly though, you have to make sure the parts are squeaky clean prior to coloring. You can use rubbing alcohol for your final wipe down to ensure it is grease free before coloring. Well, there you have it. How to give your cassette and other parts of your bike that anodized look. Remember. This is a totally aesthetic hack, and it's just for the pure fun of it. If you made it this far, I thank you. Consider giving this video a thumbs up. Ride safe, be a cycling ambassador and not a snob, and wave at every cyclist or person you pass by. Thanks for watching.